stop looking like Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> I got an apple pie and he bounced. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my fries, man. <laughs> you can't have my fries. I spit on them. control bodily functions, independence is starting to emerge. They vocalize by saying no to something and direct their motor activity. Wait, 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 wait. Erickson makes it easy to see. At one to three, this is how you're going to be. It's all about autonomy versus that shame and doubt. Now, honey, don't make me have to shout it out. Yeah. 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 That's what's up, That's what's up. You're not wrong, but we do need to move on and maybe not sing anymore. Um, moving on to Sigmund Freud, he's the one that has the psychosexual development and from one to three years you're in the anal stage. <laughs> she said anal, she said anal beat. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, um, okay, in the anal stage you're preoccupied with the ability to eliminate. Sexual urges is gratified by learning to voluntarily defecate and sphincter muscles are maturing. This is the anal stage. Show me to the party. No, at least some rage. <laughs> rage. <laughs> okay. Um, we're um, we're just gonna move on. Um, Piaget psychointellectual development. We have stage six begins in the toddler. Interventions of new means, mental combinations. 18 to 24 months, the child learns that objects and symbols represent events, such as bowl and spoon means dinner's coming. Do they Cheerios? Application of language. Check. Use of symbols to represent objects. Ability to think about things and events that aren't immediately present. Hey, dinner's coming. You're oriented to the present. The child has difficulty conceptualizing time. Thinking is influenced by fantasy. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? I'm super spider. Get in your seat. What are you doing? Because I can't, fly. I can't fly. I can fly. See? You what? cannot fly. You need to sit down. What? Sit. Oh my God. What's me? I'm super spider. One, two, three. Wasn't that great? No, it was not great. <laughs> Get in your seat. So stupid. <laughs> you hey, just hey, hey, you don't fly. fly. <laughs> Sit down, Kimberly. I think your fly is open. <laughs> You're just jealous because you don't have my special glasses. All right, settle, settle. We've got to move on. We're not getting through this quick enough. All right, we're we're just gonna finish this up. We're on our last theorist anyway. It's Colbert, and he didn't have a really specific. Ooh. Goldberger. Oh, I think Goldberg. she's talking about that wrestler Yo. Bill Goldberg. She's talking about Bill. Gold. Okay, okay. No. Stop, what? stop. Colbert. Colbert. You've all heard of him. No. I'm pretty sure we've got no. Yeah, no, no freaking clue, man. No. You know, that's okay. <laughs> I love Colbert. We can go over it right now. It's it's really no problem. He doesn't have a specific thing about toddlers. He kind of goes along with Piaget and um, and he mainly talks about how. He mainly talks about how you start to follow rules that are set. Stop! Okay, 
So, y'all did some assignments last night. You were supposed to. So, uh, who had 12 months? By one year old, I'm causing that drama. Cause now I run around saying daddy and mama. I can take a few steps all by myself. But don't look away, I might face plant a shell. Speaking of mama, now I'm drinking from a cup. So come on mama and let's fill it up. Yeah. 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 Oh, 18 months. 18, 18 months. months, what? About 18 months, I can help undress. My mama really hates it cause I'm always a mess. Ooh. I like dropping my drawers and slinging the spaghetti. I can say six words, ball. What? Ba -ba. What? Cup. What? Patsy. What? Mama. What? Daddy. What? That's six y'all, thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two years? Two years. I'm beginning to run, having so much fun. Up and down the sofa, I begin to climb using two word phrases, spitting my rhyme. Mm -hmm. I can kick the ball until I fall, draw a straight line down the bedroom wall. Yeah. Ooh, what? Oh, what? Now with the You did not do your homework, so I didn't give you a rubric, so that's fine. Um, what about Kimberly, three years old? You, did you do anything to contribute to whatever that was? Where's Kimberly? We need fine and gross motor skills. Do you know where Kimberly is? Well, I can't rap, but I can show you. I pre I'd really rather you not show us. Yeah, really I can run. I can oh, run. Okay. Run. Yeah. I can do oh, Okay. Shh. Okay. All right. And I can run out the door. See ya. Kimberly, Kimberly, get. Class is not over. Get inside. Get in your seat. Right, we're just gonna move right along. The next thing we need to go over is nutrition. With toddlers, they don't sit down and eat big meals. They graze a lot, they eat a lot of snacks, and because most of what they eat is snacks, you have to make sure that they're really healthy. So they eat yummy stuff like fruits, vegetables, milk, yogurt, cheese, whole grain crackers, just six to eight ounces of juice a day, and you don't make them clean their plates because that leads to childhood obesity. You just kind of have to let them be their own. So. Let's see if you got any of that. What do y'all like to eat? Strawberries? No. Strawberries? Celery? Ew, no. Celery? Okay, yeah. I, yogurt. Like, Everybody likes yogurt. No, no, Gross, no, no, man. That's no. what them old ladies no. eat. Oh, ladies eat that show. Ew. Okay, cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Everybody no. likes it. Stinky. Me! Okay. No, okay. No, no. All right. All right. What do you like? What do you like? Chicken nuggets! All right, we have just this last little part and there's really no way to make this fun for y'all. So I'm just gonna talk you through the vaccines real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. All you need to know is by the age of three, you need to tap polio and hepatitis B. Hey, and hepatitis A. And what you gonna do, not get the flu. And don't forget, measles, mumps, and rubella. And what about that varicella? What? What's varicella? Huh? Varicella? Huh? Varicella? Yeah, like chicken pox. Chicken nuggets! Shut up. And Hib and Prevnar and class and just, just please go home. Now we're going to talk about safety because this is a very serious issue and we want to take it very seriously. 
First, we're gonna talk about water safety for small children. It's important for parents and guardians to know that if they're not using their toilet seats, they need to be having locks on them and to keep the toilet seats closed at all times. It's also important to know that babies can drown in as little as one inch of water, so it's a good idea for parents and guardians to be CPR certified. Um, another tip is that if you're going to have a swimming pool in your backyard, which can be fun, you need to make sure that the fence um, is at least four feet tall and that it encloses all corners. Also about swimming pools, the drains need to have proper closings on them to make sure that long hair, loose clothing, and body parts don't get trapped inside the drains. Um, also with water safety, you need to make sure that you empty all tubs and buckets and containers like wading pools immediately after use. If you feel like your child is ready, it's also a good idea to enroll them in swimming lessons that will teach them to tread water and float. Thank you. And moving on, car safety. Um, for children, 73% of car seats are installed improperly, so you need to make sure that you get those checked out before you start traveling. Children two years and younger need to be ridden in a rear-facing car seat as long as possible because that will help offer the maximum protection for their head, neck, and spine. After two years old, they can be moved to a forward-facing car seat, but the seat needs to be made sure that it's kept in the back and then it's attached to a tether. There are a couple of tests that you can try to make sure that the seat is installed properly. One is the inch test, which is after you've installed the car seat, you give it a good jerk, and if it moves more than an inch from side to side, it needs to be reinstalled properly. The pinch test is to make sure the harness is tightly buckled coming from the correct slot with a chest clip in place at armpit level. If you pinch a strap at your child's shoulders, you should not be able to pinch any excess. Um, car seats are also not toys, so you need to make sure that you're just using them for transportation and that once a car seat has been involved in a crash, it does need to be replaced. Another topic is medication safety. You need to make sure that you put all of your medication up and away and out of sight, including your own medication, to ensure that children do not get a hold of it. Um, making sure that you also talk to your children about medication safety, that it's not candy, and make sure you close your lid tightly after each use. Educate your grandparents and uh, your children also to make sure that they know to keep the medication put up and away from your little kids. Um, purses that might have medication in them or bags need to be stored in a high place that's out of reach of children, along with informing visitors to make sure their medication is put up. Make sure you use a dosing device that comes with the medication to ensure that you're accurately dispensing the correct amount of medication because a teaspoon that you cook with is not the same amount as a teaspoon you give medication with. Thank you. Fall prevention for little kids is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, move the chairs, cribs, and other furniture away from windows to help prevent window falls. Um, secure the TVs to furniture in the walls using mounts, brackets, braces, anchors, wall straps, just to prevent tip overs. Um, supervise the toddlers on the way up and down stairs by holding their hand. Um, install window guards to prevent unintentional window falls. Um, use approved safety gates at the tops and bottoms of the stairs. Uh, keep your windows locked at all time and closed when they are not being used. Um, take your kids to playgrounds that have shock absorbing surfaces such as rubber, synthetics, turf, and sand, things of that nature. I'll be giving you the top safety tips for choking prevention. You want to keep small objects such as buttons, beads, jewelry, pins, nails, marbles, coins, stones, tacks out of sight. Uh, you want to cut food for toddlers into tiny pieces. Children under five should not eat small, round, or hard foods, including pieces of hot dog, cheese sticks, or chunks, hard candy, nuts, grapes, marshmallows, or popcorn. Toy safety for little kids, the top tips would be to consider your child's age when purchasing a toy or a game. You want to really read the instructions and the warning labels to make sure that it's right for your child's age. Check to make sure that there aren't any small parts or other potential choking hazards. Small game pieces that may be a choking hazard for your children should also be considered. While these kinds of games with small pieces are great for older kids, they pose a potential danger for younger, curious siblings. After playtime is over, use a bin or container to store toys for the next time. Make sure there are no holes or hinges that could catch little fingers.
YouTube videos. Yo, I brought chicken nuggets. 